horse. Have you ever ridden a horse before? Of course I have. Why? You look a little stiff. You know what? Don't worry about me, Danny. I've ridden plenty. Just like riding a bike. Never forget. When have you ridden a horse? When I was a kid. Where? At a party. A pony? No. I don't know. His name was Thunderclap. He had a hat with holes cut out for his ears. All right, look, we can't do this. Why not? Because this is a serious dude, ranch what? dude. <laughs> we got a rodeo followed by a three-day ride and no Ritz Carlton's along the way. What's your point? My point is, this is obviously the first time you've ever mounted a proper horse. I know how to ride just fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> well, this is what I call a small world. That's what this is. Look at you, Al, oh, snuggling geez. up to your horse. Like two peas in a pot, am I right, Denny? Woo-wee, oh. ride him, cowboy, teach his own, that's what I say. Who is this guy? Melvin Palmer, I don't believe we've actually met a pleasure. I am a big fan. Al and I go way back, that's what we do. Hey, we need to be bunkies, that's what we need to do. Home on the range where the deer, the antelope, and the three of us play. This is gonna be a hoot. I wanna go home. I asked for Alan. He's out of state. You get me. What did you do? Well, I was a victim of terrible malpractice, if you must know. And I took issue with the doctor. You took issue with the doctor how? I blew him up. I didn't mean to. I only meant to set fire to his office. How would I know he'd run back inside? So, basically, you committed murder. Well, aren't you a defendant's dream? My God, Catherine. Look, honey, the doctor didn't die. In fact, he was only barely hurt. Uh, so I'm only charged with attempted murder. I'm sure you'll do fine, but you won't be as good as Alan. Why don't you tell me what went down? What exactly was his malpractice? Well, I have some kidney issues, and I became anemic. The doctor put me on a drug that caused me to have a small heart attack. I'm fine now, but I could have died. Then I come to find out this doctor is taking kickbacks from the maker of the drug. That's when I decided to torch his office and inadvertently blew him up. I've already been arraigned, so you needn't bother with the trivial. Let's just go to trial. And I'd like a speedy one. After all, I'm old, as are you, dear. She handled her own arraignment. Evidently, she's gotten quite comfortable with the judicial process. What'll be your defense? Revenge? Temporary insanity. It's my only choice. Plus, she is nuts. Katie, I need you to do some checking for me on a doctor. Also, I need a little background on a drug called axologen. Okay. And then there's a... Terribly sorry. My computer calendar is off. It indicated Halloween was today. I apologize. I'm headed home to change. It won't happen again. <laughs> balls, balls, balls. Get one of those damn little smartphones, because supposedly they do everything. Music, daily planner, email, text. But ask it to keep track of the damn date? I guess that's too much. You like my outfit? It's not Halloween. And I would have to be seen by Shirley and Sap. Balls, balls, balls. If it's any consolation, I think you look lovely. It's not funny. <clears throat> Carl? Bo? Jerry, you've made rather a point of saying that this is the year that you will make partner. There are many ways of getting that job done. Jerry, prancing around the office as little Bo Peep is not one of the better ones. Won't happen again. Yeah, this is a very grown-up place, Jerry. Halloween is a kid's thing. 